Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion. So if you saw by the title, I want to apologize to you guys and say I'm sorry. Because I let something get in the way of me doing my devotionals. And it wasn't time, it wasn't anything like that, it was pride. We see, I um I got my feelings hurt. That's just really the only way to say it. Um, I've been doing our devotional time a long time. And it just seems like recently, like, nobody watches it. And my last devotional I put up, I had one view. And it really hurt my feelings. Because so many people have told me over the time how, you know, how grateful they are and and, you know, they needed to hear the word today. And so I let this person right here get in the way of doing devotions last week. Because I got my feelings hurt. So I apologize to you. Because I have no other excuse but that. Yes, I had a chaotic week. But I still could have done our devotions. So I'm deeply sorry for not doing them. Um, you know, Satan sometimes works in, our, works in our little moments we have. And, you know, you hear this voice telling you, you know, you don't need to do it because nobody cares anyway. Look, nobody's even watching them. What does it matter? And when you start to listen to that voice, that's when chaos brings up, you know. That's when things start to go wrong, take a turn for the worse. And that's what this person did. You know, um, the thing is, we can't let Satan win. And he pretty much um, does when we don't follow what we feel like the Lord wants us to do. And it reminded me, you know, I'm I'm human. I'm not perfect. I'm going to make mistakes. And I just don't want everybody out there to feel like, you know, I'm anything but less than perfect. Because I think that's the way we all are. We want to feel like we can, our lives match our words. And sometimes they don't. Sometimes, you know, I don't tell everything that's going on in my life. But let me just say, life cannot always be wrapped up in a tidy little neat bow. Because I'm human. And so are you. Romans 3, verse 23 says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That means we're all alike. We're all united in this one little sin, in, in the area of sin. Because we all sin. And this person right here is no different from any of you out there. And so I'm going to try my hardest to get our devotions done every day, whether anyone watches them or not. Because it is not up to me to say who watches, who won't get something out of this, who not. Because that is not my place. It is my place to plant a seed. And it's God's place to make it grow. So I am praying that you guys will forgive me. And that I will continue to plant seeds. Now, at church this weekend, we were given this little book called The Jesse Tree. And if you don't know the Jesse Tree story, or what it's all about, Advent, um, this tells you here. But this is a devotional for the month of December, and I'm going to be doing this because it's really good. And it's all about the Jesse Tree. 
And well, it's not all about the just trees. It's all about um, the the days leading up to the birth of Christ, about how he started, about the root of Jesse. Because you know Jesus came from the root of Jesse. And about how Eve dropped the ball. And about a covenant God made with Noah. And, and a covenant with Abraham. But you see these little circles right here? These are ornaments. And so this year I'm going to have me a Jesse tree. And um, they have a website you can go to to print out the ornaments. And then laminate them and have a little tree to put them on. And that's what I'm going to do this year. But this is a wonderful, wonderful devotional book. And I have five of them besides mine. If you would like to have one of these to follow along with our devotion starting December the 1st, let me know and I will drop this in the mail to you. Um, all I'm going to do is put a piece of tape over the front and the back and put an address right here. I'm not going to put it in an envelope or anything like that. But, <coughs> if you would like to have one, let me know. And if it's more than five, I can get more from church. But, um... It's a great little devotional to start in December as part of Advent. Alright guys, just remember one thing. We are all in we're all fallible. We all make mistakes and we're all human. And I am right along there with you. We all sin. We all fall short. But when we read Romans 3.23, for all his sin and fall short of the glory, we have to read 24 that says, being justified as a gift by his grace through the redemption which is in Christ Jesus. See, it's not enough that we're all sinners. We had to find a way to have, restore our communication with God. And that way was Jesus. You know, through his blood, he justified us. He made us righteous. He made us an open line of communication between God and us again. And it was a gift, a free gift. It didn't cost us anything but just to believe and accept the free gift. For see, God's not going to push anything on us. He's not going to make us accept that free gift. But he is willing to offer it to us. And all we have to do is accept it. So my friends, I know it's a little bit different kind of devotion talk this morning. But I wanted to let you know how sorry I am for my attitude last week preventing me from doing our daily devotion. And let you know that I will be continuing to do them. Have a wonderful week. God bless, and I will see you all soon. Bye-bye.